we have two cores, minor and thorns. They has to have skill three, mastery three, but their level can be as low as 70 and 69. Besides that, we also need one vanguard, two defenders, two healers, and many fast redeploy or merchant or high HP operators. First, we deploy minor facing right, fang facing down, and wait until we have enough DP, we deploy thorns facing down, and then activate minor skill. Then deploy hibiscus facing up, and use thorns skill when it's ready, and then deploy beagle facing down, and ancel facing down, and spot facing down. When Spot is under attack, use Ancel's skill. And don't forget to use Thorn's skill whenever it's ready. And after Ancel's skill expires, we use Spot's skill. And when his purple guard is in range, use Moinar's skill. Again, when Spot is under attack, use Ancel's skill to heal him, and we deploy Gravel here to block the boss for a little while. When Gravel is down, we deploy Melantha to replace Gravel to block the boss, because Melantha can take a little while longer, so we activate Hibiscus skill to heal up Melantha. After that, we activate Spot's skill. At this time, we are usually going to leak enemies, so we immediately use minor skill whenever it's ready. Our strategy is basically blocking the boss inside the marsh and let Thorns and Miner clean up the remaining enemies. When Melantha is down, we deploy other operators to stop the boss. Also, when the kill count reaches 21, it means that all the remaining enemies are cleaned up, we can just retreat Hibiscus and Beagle. So now, we just deploy our operators one by one. We deploy Gravel, Yato, Plume, Noircon, Melantha to just block the boss inside the marsh and let Thorn kill the boss slowly and surely. As in FC8, the boss will ignite all the reeds after revival. So after she ignites the reeds, we immediately activate Ancel's skill and Spot's skill to keep everyone alive. The boss will then work downstairs. After that, we deploy Gravel and Yato near the stairs, and Yato can be any other operators, so that boss will waste her rope skill on them. Then, Fan will be burned down by the fire, so we just deploy Beagle at the same position to replace her, and when the big purple guard is in Miner's skill range, we use Miner's skill to kill the enemy. Don't worry if your spot dies here. When boss approaches this block, we keep deploying operators to block the boss inside this block. Miner's skill can hit the boss in this block, but the boss cannot do any damage to our front line, so our other operators are safe. Basically, we keep deploying our Defender, Vanguard, and other operators in three places. First, we need to block the boss in this position, and secondly, we need to deploy some operator near Thorns, so that the invisible seed can be blocked, and thirdly, we need to keep the front line alive at the position of Beagle, because Beagle may die to those big purple guards. What we are waiting for is minor skill. When minor skill is ready, we immediately use minor skill to kill both the boss and all the enemies in the front line. Also, keep an eye on the right lane and keep deploying operators to block enemies so that thorns can kill them. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you like this video.